I'm going to start it. And who wants to start first? Who wants to start first? Um, okay, Paul, since nagmamadali ka. <laughs> okay. Can you start? Please share your screen. Okay, we cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. Please unmute yourself. Paul, please unmute yourself and please start. We still can hear you. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, are you using your speaker? Okay, just present your screen along and I will read it in the comment section. Okay, so this is your transparency and opacity. This is your first plate. Okay. And you have used the 30 as the reference. All right. And then next. It is very good. So mimesis, this is a representation of the cup and that mimesis is not actually the actual object, but rather it is a reflection or a representation of the, the cup. So what does the nest pas unites passe mean? Uh, it means it's not a cup. All right. It's very good. Next plate. So this is chiaroscuro. So it is a self-portrait and the crowd symbolizes higher, higher consciousness. So um, very good, except that the crowd should have yellowish highlights as well if i'm not mistaken if well if you used a yellow light the crowd should also be yellowish right sparrow is very good representation um next plate color composition wow this is very good so your dominant colors is blue and your tonic is 
umber or is it brown? And your accent is uh, Naples yellow. Am I correct? Okay, it's very good. Um, very good technique. Next plate. So this is a mixed media where you use pen, watercolor, and acrylic on canvas. So it's an old wallet box equals election. So it is a representation of the election and how the ballot is symbolizing for the actual voting. But the tree inside the ballot box uh, represents the feature of the country. If I remember it correctly, I asked you to, um, to visualize or um, make a, a image that uh, will ask the people to, um, to, to uh, be wary of the elections or to vote wisely. So without the words, and this is a very good representation. Thank you. Encourage people to vote, yes. Um, next plate. This is the final plate. The toys and stones represent the disease and challenges, the books for academic and drapery metaphor taking over. So um, can you explain more about this? Please um, just um, chat it in the chat box. So, so the academic or what is known or every facts that we learned is in danger with the spread of the fake news. Mm, yeah, that is true. That is really, really deep. And that's also amazing. Thank you for that. So, um, guys, do you have any, um, do you have any suggestions, comments, uh, compliments to Paul? Let me hear you. Maganda, ma'am. <laughs> yes. Ang ganda. Galing, galing. Mm-hmm. Very good. Too bad, um, Sarah, you might more, but you could have enjoyed that. So, thumbs up, Kasarin. Thank you. So, who wants to go next? <laughs> who wants to go next? Yeah, it's hard to top. <laughs> That's true. Who wants to go next? Go on, guys. Sige, mam, ako na, mam. <laughs> Face I run go. Wait lang. Ah. Wait lang man. Okay. And uh, and the next Tyron is Julian. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, uh, nakita na ako ba? Yes. Okay. Sanyan. Bakit ganun? Ayan. 
Okay. Wait lang, ma'am. Naglolo ko yung phone. <laughs> Tanda na yung phone ko. <laughs> okay. So, ayan. <clears throat> so, ito po yung first plate ko. Yung opacity. Uh, bale, uh, ginawa ko ho uh, self-portrait ho yan. Then, ginawa ko ho siyang parang clown kasi it's about emotion nga man. So, uh, Bale, ang pinagbasihan ko ho is yung uh, emotion ko during uh, quarantine, uh, which is galit and at the same time is malungkot. So, ang ginawa ko parang transparent is yung sad face ng clown. So, so parang ginawa ko ho is bakit parang clown is because pinapakita ng clown, di ba, is parang masaya ka or what. Pero deep inside, malungkot ka then galit. So pinapakita ko lang ho is parang masaya ako outside then deep inside malungkot ka ako then at the same time galit dahil sa ano dun, dun, dun ho sa past na nangyayari sa akin during quarantine. Okay, so ayan. So why were you in quarantine, may I ask? Ay, hindi ma'am. Uh, during quarantine uh, last year. Uh, so okay. bale yun ho yung pinaka-worst na sa tingin kong uh, karanasan ko. Kasi, first of all, uh, stress dahil sa takot sa kung anong pwede mangyari sa ano. Tsaka, wala, hindi pa kasi ho tayo sure sa COVID-19 nun. Tsaka, at the same time, trap ka lang sa bahay. So, napaka-limited nung, nung nakikita mo, napaka-limited nung uh, nagagawa mo. So, yun, yun siguro yung nag, nagpapagalit sa akin. Which is, more on, ano ho kasi, okay, more on, lakad dito, lakad <laughs> na mag-isa. Pag, nung walang quarantine, nung wala pang ano, pandemic. So, yun yung nakapaggalit sa akin. Tsaka, at the same time, nakakalungkot. Kasi, yun nga, stress. <laughs> Tsaka, family problems. So, ito ho yung mga, ano, yung process ko. So, Uh, nag-start ako sa uh, uh, tag dito nag-start ako sa outline syempre then sa shapes bala ang inuna ko hong ano ho ko so is yung dark so yung shadows ho muna then pa highlight then yung pinanghuli ko ho is yung highlight okay <clears throat> then blend medyo natagalan ho ako dito kasi blend ako ng blend medyo ang ang Goal ko ho kasi dito is makuha yung likeness ko. Though hindi is masyado. <laughs> Walang pa. Okay. Then, ito ho yung sa uh, second plate ko ho yung which is uh, treachery of images. So, ito. Kaya ho lapis. Kasi at that time, medyo, to be honest, medyo nag-rush ako. So, medyo na, natagal lang ako dun sa isang plate. So, nag Hanap ako ng easy uh, subject na makikita nga yung nasa requirements, yung top, yung five uh, shadows, I guess. Yun yung pagkakatanda ko. Kaya ho lapis yung napili ko. Tsaka at the same time, <laughs> ma- madali lang siya. <laughs> so, so wala ko masyadong malalim na uh, dahilan kung bakit nagawa ko ho is lapis. Okay, so eh. Ito po yung ano, process ko. Same. So, b- pero di- this time, nag-start ho muna ako sa shapes. Tsaka ko ho siya build up through tones. Okay, so. Then, ito, yung charoscuro. Uh, paano ko ba? Well, yung, yung subject ko is nakuha ko lang sa, ano, uh, sa Google. Pero ang ginawa ko ho, inubo ko ho yung yung facial ano expression tsaka yung ano niya. Yung uh ang tawag diyan. I'm not sure kung bandana or what. <clears throat> Nagustuhan ko lang ho kasi yung lighting kaya kinuha ko ho siya as subject. Pero iniba ko na lang yung yun nga, yung expression niya tsaka mas hinighlight ko yung mata. Para hindi tayo ma <laughs> So, yun. Uh, 
if mapapansin niyo medyo nag medyo naging ano medyo naging messy yung gawa ko dito kasi at that time if i'm not mistaken medyo nagka ano ako dito eh nagkalagnat ay mali yan so ito po yung yung process ko so medyo malat anong medyo <laughs> uh, mabilisan siyang ginawa so yun So, eto. Uh, yung take ko ho dito is medyo nag-ano ho kasi ko sa masyado naman atong realistic yung ginagawa ko. More, mas, but parang masyadong focus ako sa ano. Why not gawin ko naman mag-try ako ng ibang ano art style. Total mas ano ako sa mga illustrations. So, yan ho yung ginawa kong art style. Tsaka mas madali ho siya. Okay. So, ang like. ang uh, Dominant hong color dito is yung, hindi ko ho alam ba't sa photos naging parang bluish siya. Pero sa actual na ano, is may pagka-greenish pa siya eh. So parang, ang ginawa, ang ginawa ko kasi is yung atmospheric niya is syempre blue. Tsaka may pagka-grayish. So ang sad tignan. Tapos, ah, uh, Bale, ang ginawa ko hong emotions dito is yung kinuha ko hong emotions is yung nakikita ko rin sa uh, labas during umuulan. Yung iba, in-enjoy yung ulan. Karamihan, hindi. <laughs> isa ko dun. <laughs> so, kaya ganyan yung ano. Is, yung isa ay nasa likod ng mismong subject is galit. Parang wala sa mood. Then yung sa likod. Then yung sa yung babae naman is parang Bayan, bakit hindi ako nagdala ng payong? Parang ganun yung, parang ganun yung ano, yung gusto kong ipakita dyan. Then yung isa, in-enjoy lang. Eh. Umu- umuulan, then life, life goes on. Parang ganun. Then kaya ako naglagay ng ano, lamp dyan is para, yan, para nga ho, ma-highlight. Ma, uh, tumama yung warm light dun sa mismong subject ko is yung, yun nga, yung taong in-enjoy lang. yung <laughs> yung ulan so ayan but ganun ayan so ito po yung process ko do dito nag nagibaho ko ng process kasi gusto ko mag-explore so ayan so ang inuna ko ho dito is background then tsaka ko ho pinatong yung mga tao yung mga subjects ko so yun <clears throat> okay So, eto naman. <laughs> okay. Ma'am, ginamit ko hong canvas dito. Yung gin- <laughs> Sorry. Yung ginamit ko hong canvas dito is yung ginamit dun sa lapis. <laughs> so, if, if, if mapapansin nyo, may parang white na paint dun sa likod. Dyan, yan ho kasi yung time na ano, late dumating yung canvas na in order ko. So, yan. Yun na lang ho yung ginamit kong canvas. Sorry. <laughs> So, bakit, bakit ganyan? Anong meaning yan? So, <clears throat> vote wisely. For me, ho, kasi walang kulay yung, pag, yung pagboto eh. Kasi, ang napapansin ko hong mali sa... Hindi ko, hindi ko na sinasabing mali. Pero parang kasing masyado na kasing toxic yung... Ah, dapat ganto kulay mo. Dapat ganto kulay mo. Dapat... Yung, yung para bang... Okay, bakit... Bakit pag ito ay pinili ko, may magagalit. <laughs> Bakit ito pinili ko, may magagalit. So, kaya ho ganyan yung mga expression na nasa likod. Y- yung isa is parang, yung color green. Ang ginagawa niya is parang binubulongan niya na, promise, ito gagawin ko, ganito gagawin ko, basta i-boto mo ako. <clears throat> Then yung nasa, yung blue naman, uh, ang gusto ko yung i-ano dyan is parang nag-aalok siya. Na, eto ibibigay ko sa iyo uh, basta iboto mo lang ako then yung nasa yung red naman is parang nang test threat na ako iboto mo parang ganun <laughs> so yung mismong subject ko naman is ginawa ko ho siyang mismong kulay ng ano isang tao na uh, well eto ko eh eto yung kulay ko so, wala akong pipili na kulay wala akong pipili na ano wala akong uh, 
uh, hindi ako magpapaano sa sasabihin ng iba parang ganun yung ano basta ito yung boto ko sa sa ganun lang yung ganun ho yung gusto kong ipaano sa mga boboto ngayon so yan so ito ho yung process so ganun rin ho yung ginawa ko tulad din sa ano sa pencil. So, mas inun na ko yung shapes. Ay, bali, ang material super lang ginamit ko dyan is uh, uh, acrylic. Yung main subject ko, yung tao, is yung acrylic, yung voters. Then, yung sa likod, ma'am, ang ginamit kong uh, medium is gouache. Kaya medyo transparent siyang tignan. Tsaka powdery tignan. Then, yung lining... Then, yung line art ho is siyempre ink. Okay. <clears throat> so, ito mam yung final plate. So, bakit saging? Uh, supposedly, ma'am, ang bala ko ho sana dyan is fruit basket. Na haluan ko ng plastic na ano, na uh, mga fruits na displays. Kaya lang, <clears throat> yung time na ho niyan, ang fruit ang prutas lang na nasa rep namin is banana. <laughs> so ayan yung so ayan yung kinamit kong subject. Tsaka at the same time may history rin ho kasi. Ah uh, nung bata ho kasi ako, 'di ba? Noon, uso noon yung may ano, fruit display, fruit. Well hanggang ngayon naman, pero kasi mas ano noon yung mga fruit display na ano, plastic sa lamesa. Though alam ko nung bata ako na mga plastic 'yun. Pero ho kasi, may nag-iisa doon na mukha talagang totoo, which is yung saging. So, yung, I'm not sure kung kinagabihan noon nung bata ako. Uh, naghanap ako ng saging kasi nagugutom ako. Then, nakita ko sa lamesa <laughs> yung saging na ano, mukhang totoo. So, syempre, nung na ano ko, pagkahawa ko, ah, peke pala. So, parang ang lesson lang, bakit, bakit ko siya na ano sa fake news? is huwag ka agad maniwala sa kung ano nakikita mo. So, parang, uh, mag, kung if may tao dun, magtanong-tanong ka muna bago mo, ano, kung bakit siya naging delikado is, what if, siya, mas bata pa ako nung time na, ano, nakuha ko yan. So, pwede ko makain yan. So, ang, ano ko ho dito is yung nasa likod na banana, yung meron texture, is, actual na banana. Then yung yung sa side yung mas smooth tignan is yung plastic na banana. Ayun ho, ito ho. If hindi niyo if makikita niyo ho dun, dito, wait. May nakasulat siya dun sa plastic na banana. Yung nakasulat ho niyan is made made of plastic. <laughs> kaya ano, tas kaya kaya ko ho siya nilagyan ng ano, pinatungan ko ho siya ng Well, ang bala ko ho sana, lalagyan ko ho siya ng para wax para mas maging makintab siya. Kaya lang hindi gumana. So, ang ginawa ko na lang, alternative sa wax, <coughs> ang ginawa ko is yung uh, plastic cover. So, kinat ko siya sa shape ho nung banana. Then, tinapal ko. Ginamitan ko ho ng paint para dumikit lalo, wet paint. So, yun ma'am. Tapos, nagdagdag na lang ako ng ano, Tag dito. Ang tela. <laughs> Pampaano lang. Pampadagdag. Uh, para hindi boring masyadong tignan. So, yun ma'am. Thank you. That was very interesting and ang galing. Ang galing. So, uh, guys, you, do, you have, do you have any Uh, comments, violent reactions, suggestions. Now you would like to um, tell Tyroy. Ganda lalo. Yung painting na muna. Yes, that's also my favorite. And then galing. Oh, ang galing. Thank Hindi you. nga, yung pang children yun. <laughs> Bala ko nga sana sa ano, Adaro na. Magtatry ako mag-apply. <laughs> Saan? Adaro na, ma'am. 
Darn. Try mo. But don't yeah, stop. Mommy. Don't stop, ano. Just don't stop uh, studying. Kasi iba pa rin yung may, ano ka, may, tawag dito, may bachelor's degree. <laughs> Okay, um, next si Cesar. Can you start? Naantog na ata si Arild. <laughs> um, Julian? Are you ready? Julian, where are you? <laughs> um, um, okay na ba? Yes. Oh, okay. Wait lang. Uh... Um, okay, rinig, uh, rinig ba ako? Loving ko yun? Yes. Okay, got it. Okay, so, um, hello everyone. Um, today I'll be, um, presenting my, um, portfolio today. Uh, so how I, um, arrange the, um, paintings that I'm going to present, I decide to arrange it from, and um, mind you, um, relatively all of these paintings that I've made, I, I, I like them. I like the finished product, but I decided to um, arrange them from my um, least favorite to um, paintings that um, I um, like the most. So that's sort of the arrangement that I want to go. So let's start with the first one. Uh, so this is the um, Charoscuro painting that I did. And I would say that this okay, is definitely... Um, this is sorry. oh sorry um Julian, yes? sorry can you please um uh make it full screen so that everybody can see um oh. you see oh oh, oh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 uh did, did it back back, back. Uh, see at, the bottom, at the bottom there is uh a powerpoint the bottom bottom no, what? though. Uh, at the bottom of your screen, you could see you could see um zoom. Yeah, that one slideshow. Oh, zoom. No, no, the slideshow. Oh wait, what? Sorry. The bottom next to it. I mean the bottom. Ah uh, no, the left one. That one. That one. Ah okay. Then I... ah, okay, okay. Sorry about okay. that. Okay. Uh, so, okay, um, sorry about that, guys. Um, back to what I was saying. Um, so this is the uh, first painting that I want to present. Um, this is my um, Charoscura painting. Um, I can say that this is definitely um, the most difficult painting that I had to do for this because um, um, I, tried, I tried to um, not make the um, dark tones blend in. I want, you know, to um, have them have like their their own like individual try to make them more separate and not make them blend in there's a couple like mistakes there but you know i guess i sort of captured the um overall mood of it and um there's not really much message for any of this also i took a reference from this and most of the paintings that i did for this class is reference with the exception of a few paintings uh let's move on to the next one uh this one um back, the, back. Uh, mm -hmm. please come back i'm sorry um yes a, a little comment um you do realize that this is not chiaroscuro 
rather, but it is high contrast instead. Mm. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Next slide. Thank oh, you. Okay, and so. please, can you, can you, um, sorry, I'm a little bit OC with this. Um, can you click the hide button? <laughs> oh, um, what do you mean, Paul? Uh, uh, meet the Google, yeah, that one. Oh, hide. Oh, like this? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, 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 move on. Uh, moving on, so um, this is basically our um, final plate. This is the um, texture plate. And this is the um, our um, message about voting. So I want to um, get get into the um, the um, overall message that I'm trying to convey because it does seem very you know kind of out there. So um, basically, what I'm trying to say is, so this portal thing over here, it looks like it looks like a portal is is trying to um, that's supposed to represent fake news because. Uh, Fake news generally um, manipulates and sort of warps our sense of perception and our and our perception of uh, reality, right? So, um, and uh, this person over here is supposed to represent us. And the reason why I put a weapon over there, he's um, the person is wielding a weapon, is they are trying to fight against the um, fake news, which is the portal, so that um the um portal does not manipulate us and um and it doesn't warp our sense of reality so we know sort of the um truth of our surroundings and what is really going on so that is basically the message of that and also the um texture um so the um the um glaze the like liquid glaze i decided to put some like dots on the shirt and to like, you know, like I said, put some texture on it. So that's how I apply to it. And also for the um background, I just um just sort of got like a big paintbrush and then I pressed pressed on my um canvas to like make sort of this like sort of uh um smudgy sort of sort of like interesting texture. And that's that's pretty much all I gotta say on that. Um yeah. Uh moving on. Uh, so this is my um, the uh, mixed media plate. Uh, this is oh wait, this is more on fake news. Just a correction. Okay, moving on. This is our uh, mixed media plate. Uh, this is basically about voting, as previously mentioned, and the uh, message. Um, I think the message I'd say is pretty simple on this. So basically, these two. Um, Past, they are basically representing of the people who you are going to vote for, and this um, sort of um, penguin figure. I um, actually, I don't have a specific reason why I picked the painting, but it sort of came to mind. So, and this, so um, back to what I was saying, uh, this painting figure is supposed to represent us, the voters, the um voter voters, and sort of the paper that he's holding is his vote and um whatever um uh path that he that he crosses which is the left or the right that is the person that he's going to vote and obviously i didn't um i didn't um have a sort of bias or like or like i didn't want my pain to be like oh i want you guys to vote this specific person i wanted to be more um neutral and just let people um, vote, you know, whoever person they want to vote. And of course, I, um, I didn't do this like um, on purpose, but it sort of has a sort of like cool tone with all of the um, cool and calm tones. Um, I didn't really do that um, like on purpose, but somehow subconsciously it just came out that way. And I think that's pretty much what I can say about this. Uh, next. Uh, this is my um, treachery of um, of images uh, painting. Uh, what I want to explain about this is the um, colors. I put some complementary colors. Of course, the um, color blue. I mean, the pinkish reddish with the with the blue. And of course, there is the. This is not a cap. It is only a 
um, representation of a cap. It's not actually a cap as the um, treachery of images would like to tell you. Um, um, I would say I like this um, painting quite a bit. Um, the shading, as you can see, it could use some work, but I think, I think it came out pretty good. Um, moving on. Uh, so this is my second to last paintings. Um, this I would say is like my second favorite painting that I made. This is the color in relation to form or the um, color, color composition. So the um, inspiration that I wanted to take from this is if you guys watch anime, there's this anime called My Neighbor Totoro and the um, and one of the um, non-human characters in that anime is um, it sort of uh, looks like the um, color orange person. I mean, color orange creature on this painting. I sort of took inspiration for that. And um, also, and the um, rest of the elements from like the um, trees and also the um, bluish sort of a night background. I also took inspiration because there was this, there was this one um, iconic scene in my, in my neighbor Totoro where um, Totoro, like the creature there, um, is um, at night and there was this leaf um, above him and it's sort of shielding him from from the rain so he can stay dry. So I took a lot of inspiration from that. And for the um, fog over here, I decided to get the, um, the um, varn. I decided to combine varnish with a little bit of white so I can, you know, um, give off the effect of um, raindrops. And um, uh, as I said, um, I also utilize um, complementary colors with the um, orange and the um, blue. And of course, the um, green and blue. And also, I um, decided to do cool tones specifically. And I also experimented with, um, I also decided to play around with light and dark, dark tones as well. And um, I would say I, I think I uh, really like this painting then. And then uh, lastly, so this is um, my, my um, first plate, which I would say is my um, favorite. This is a um, reference, but I would say it came out pretty good. So the um, message that I want to convey to um, convey from this is um, I took inspiration from the um, what we're going through in the um, pandemic, and it's it's a very difficult time. You know, at the time that um, Mom assigned us this plate and we were doing it, it was it was a pretty difficult time for us during the pandemic. So that's why I put these um, pieces of text over here, which is triumph, content, support, composure, as a way to sort of make us, um, motivate us to like go through and propel through these difficult and harsh times, which is the um, pandemic. I don't sort of um, have a specific reason why I decided to um, make it a um, woman, but um, I decided to put it that way. And, uh, hmm. And uh, the reason why, of course, is transparency and opacity. So um, I used varnish and I, as you can see, I used that. And then I used the color blue because one of my favorite colors, or it might be my, my favorite color is the um, color blue. And I played around with that. That's why it has a transparent feeling. And um, I can say this is, even though it, this is the first plate that I did, I would say it is definitely my favorite because um, before this, I, I didn't, even though it's a reference, I didn't really, you know, um, uh, paint something like this. So it was also cool. Um, and to finish off Jung, um, um portfolio, I can say with these paintings, I, I definitely became more adventurous with coloring because I didn't have So it was good that um, through, Throughout these paintings that we did, and you know, I tried to you know watch more videos on coloring and complementary colors, and you know, playing around with different tones. So um, I definitely liked that experience, and hopefully, I can you know, um, moving on you know to um, um, to later classes that you know I can try you know uh, playing around with colors more and color composition, and hopefully, it can definitely improve your mga compositions. I mean, compositions. So, Yun, um, thank you. Thank you.
Yun lang. Okay. Yun lang, ma'am. Um, thank you for that. Um, I just want to say something. Um, sure. I like how your technique on, well, as I can see it, your technique is more um, illustrative rather mm -hmm. than realistic. But um, it is also a downside with um, this course because um, this course requires you to um, uh, try to um, illustrate things uh, realistically. Mm -hmm. um. So, uh, but I rather, but I think you lack um, practice, although I really like some of your, <laughs> not all, some of your, um, I like the penguin, for example, um, yeah, that one, and also the first plate that you showed, and the second one, yeah, that one, <laughs> but um, uh, you need to practice on your techniques, on how to make it, how to blend colors, I understand. And, uh, yeah. And how to, um, uh, you know, the shadows and all, you need to practice more about. All right. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for uh, today. And um, your, uh, how about your classmates? Do you guys want to say something? Um, suggestion, comments, reactions? Do you have any? I also like the last plate. I mean, the first plate, that one also. That, of course, there are also some improvements that could have been done. Um, guys, do you have any? Wala. Wala. All right. Um, thank you, Julian. Um, give them a round of applause, guys. Thank you. Um, who is next? Who wants to go next? Okay, uh, Joseph, Brian? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so good morning. I will uh, today. I will be presenting my um, portfolio. So young works call for techniques. So to start with transparency and opacity. So yung naging reference ko is si David Bowie, and then kaya ko siya napili kasi yung Storman na uh, photo niya ayon yung meron siyang face paint and na isip ko maganda siyang example since yung paint yung paint nagfa-follow sa contours ng face niya so ayun very naka, naka nagustuhan ko din yung composition niya kasi nagfo-focus yung parang yung uh, yung colors ng paint is yung parang highlight ng subject so next is treachery of images so ayun wala naman masyadong explanation um based dun sa lesson lang, tapos Apple yung ginamit kong subject, followed by, ayun, yung nasa ilalim, hindi ito man sanas. And then, next is Jaro Scuro, uh, which is medyo challenging din siya. So, um, ayun, oh, ayun, ayun din, yung same lang din ng, uh, sa presenters kanina, ang goal is yung parang yung shadows in like dark enough siya na alam mong shadows siya and very um yung contrast niya ibang iba doon sa lighted part pero hindi siya dark enough na nagbe-blend siya doon sa background which is black so next po is color composition major rush siya tapos yung sorry check ko lang yung notes ko so for the color scheme, ginamit ko purple, green, and orange. Tapos purple ko yung dominant ko for the sky. And then 
green yung accent sa the grass and then orange po yung tonic. And then next is mixed media. So dito po uh, naisip kong gawin is very monochromatic yung yung megaphone. Tapos yung colors na parang accents na ginamit ko po is uh, yung colors ng Philippine flag. So blue, red, and yellow. And then since mixed media siya, so for the megaphone po ginamit ko is acrylic. And then yung hand, nag-charcoal po ako in pencil. And then yung lining po na red, ginamit ko dun is yarn para may ibang texture din. Parang nag, na, medyo embossed siya. So nagustuhan ko din po effect. And then, ayun, yung shadows po mixed po siya ng um, acrylic and pencil. So nag-shade and then sinasmudge ko na lang para medyo smooth pa din yung itsura niya. And then for the final plate po, um, the topic is fake news and then mixed media. So, naisip kong gawin is um, very uh, matisse yung style nung sa last plate ko. So, naisip ko po kasi na like with fake news, kunyari, uh, well, with fake news kasi uh, yung pinaka naisip ko is uh, nagiging clouded yung minds ng mga tao if sa mga nababasa nila, especially with fake news kasi, ayun nga, hindi accurate yung information and ayun yun po yung naisip kong um, metaphor dun sa for my painting tapos ayun kasi usually especially ngayon siguro um with the pandemic um uh indoors lang tayo so kadalasan ang means of information natin is gadgets or phone so Ayun, isa malaking factor din yun sa pag-spread ng fake news. So, ayun po, ma'am. Um, yun yung ginawa kong um, subject or theme. So, clouded po yung minds ng tao while because of fake news. Yun lang po. Okay, thank you. Um, I like your last painting, especially the last painting, yung sa finals. But, um, medyo... I'm a little bit confused because you said that um, with uh, social media, so we are the because we what we see in social media with the fake news, our minds get clouded, right? But uh, with what I see, um, he let go of the of the cell phone. So if you let go of something, should it, it be cleared up uh, already? Ah, hindi po. So, Nag- Nag-re-reach po siya dun sa cellphone. So, inaabot niya po. Parang kukunin niya. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. I like this also. It's very Matisse style. I like it. Thank you. And um, guys, do you have anything to say? Comment, reaction? Um, for me, I want you to uh, just like Julian, I want you to practice more on your shading, your toning, and the highlights also, but you're almost there. And I definitely can see um, improvement, especially w- during the first year. Um, your works are more of, um, it's very, your works are parang nahihirapan ka blend before, right? And then right now it's improving a lot. So congratulations. Thank uh, guys, you. do you have anything to say? And round of applause, guys. <laughs> do you have anything to say? Suggestions, comments? Oh, maganda yung Bowie and you fake this painting. I also like the Bowie painting. It's nagulat ako doon. It's super, yeah. Um, who wants to go next? We have Ariel and uh, Carlos last. Who wants to go next? Either Ariel or Carlos. Okay, Carlos, please go ahead and present your words.
Hey, mom, can you see this? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, so here's my portfolio for this sem. Uh, here's my first plate. Um, actually, I lost all of my references because uh, nasira yung laptop ko, so no wala lahat ng files. But uh, this was a photo I saw, and it was, I think it was a photo during one of the protests in US and. Uh, what's written on his mask? I actually just made it up uh, because, um, especially during these uh, these past two years, uh, there's been so much hate uh, happening. Na para lahat na tayo nagaaway in every race and political um, choices and all that stuff. So I decided to put uh, make the world love again on the mask so you know to, for us to better understand each other uh okay so next to no explanation but ito na ubusan ako ng canvas so i just made five objects uh random objects i've seen around the house not much explanation to it and um, do you hear me yes we can hear you uh, so here's my next one, the Cairo School of oh, Late. Um, can I just ask, why did you make five? I only asked one big one. Ah, ma'am, uh, uh, naubusan po ako ng canvas, ma'am. So sabi ko, gawa na lang ako ng marami para hindi naman masyadong mali. <laughs> okay, so here's the Cairo School of Late. Um, I also lost the reference photo for this, but uh, I really love the reference photo because uh, it really divided the dark and the light. Uh, so what's next? It reminds me of Mona Lisa for some reason. I uh, am. Yeah, it was it was some uh, woman who looked like Mona Lisa. I forgot I forgot who, but I found it online. Uh, and next, here's my color composition plate. Um, I use the color yellow, green, and gray. And I decided to color him the person yellow because at that moment I was watching a, I was watching a Lakers game. So I used yellow and some purple and it was, I think it was a better Contrast since medyo sad yung background and gray, so why don't you just stand out? Yeah. Okay, so here's my mixed media plate. Um, basically, yung gusto ko para thing is parang nasa yung mga taong nasa baba is represents us, the people, and nasa taas yung mga politician na magnanakaw. Tapos yun, binubu uh, basically, tayo yung nagbubuhat sa kanila, as in the people, tayo yung uh, nagbabayad ng karamihan ng utang nila, ganun. So, and the colors, yun, par parang ang flag, and as you can see dito, as a red yung taas, kasi I feel like we're not at peace, as in kahit walang gera na nangyayari. Um, like, our country is not at peace kasi ang daming, ang dam, basically dami talaga nangyayari, especially uh, coming into the elections. Okay, so, similar to the last plate, I also used the same colors, but here, um, the people, parang I wanted to represent na they're, we, actually we, we are hypnotized with our, with what we see in our phones and Sobrang nagiging clouded nga yung pag-iisip natin. So, here I used uh, I used uh, staple wires to add texture and uh, and the colors yun rin I, I used uh, para Philippine flag. Basically, what I meant to show here is that uh, we, we don't see a lot of us don't see what really is happening to the country and we only see 
we only see it from our phones. So uh, that's it, ma'am. Thank you. I love your works. Round of applause, guys. Thank you, ma'am. And um, just like Julian, yours are a, a little more, bit more of, yeah, modern, just like Paul said, and then illustrative. So it is like a comic style or something, just like I said it, Ariel. Yeah, so. Yeah, Ariel says, Bagay sayo maging comic creator. Yeah, I also like the rainy day, but just like I told you guys, this is we are on techniques. So the course is about um, putting techniques or learning about techniques. So it's not about the style, but rather it's about um, how we execute the techniques. All right. But I really like your works. I mean, there are uh, different and also very cool and actually it makes me happy. Ex right? Do pang you... logo, ma'am. Pang mga t-shirt. Yeah. Pwedeng pang t-shirt tsaka stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But, you know, we are on techniques, so um, you would just receive your grade. Alright, I hope you understand. But I really do like your works. So, um, thank you for that. And I hope you won't, I hope you continue, but also uh, practice more, especially on your techniques. And hopefully, well, I'll be, I'll be te teaching next semester. Hopefully, I'll see you in another subject, <laughs> okay? In another subject. Okay. Um, Ariel, how about you? Are you ready? Hi. Yes, Paul. Okay, please present now. No problems. Nikita nyo na, guys. Hello? Yes. I speak. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, uh. Good morning. So I'm here to present my artworks for this whole sem. So here I just entitled my my techniques there on transparency and opacity. It's called Camouflage Fludge Paint. I get to experiment the skills and techniques. There is more on blending the background with the sub subject matter itself. I made it. I'm able to blend the colors and light together that makes it very transparency so mas mas sapili ko yung yung portrait ng girl kasi she, she could be very unique and make you laugh all the time and and so on the story is from the mimesis lake it's supposed to be that is not the plant itself but instead, I accidentally put that is not an object itself. It's actually representing more on the on the flower pot, more on a pot of a plant. I've I've been searching na nga yung any objects that I can actually paint and sketch, or what is easy for me, and it turns out I had I got nothing much, so I decided to create a plant instead. I seen I just told myself, why not? Why not a plant? I mean, no one does the plant before. I mean, I can see all other backgrounds there, other artworks that they created a lot of greens. I get, I get to level up my work there on how I imitate and how I based on my perspective and perception on how I view and how I tried my best to copy the plant there. Next is my own self, which is from the Charoscuro. It's this a portrait that was actually being affected by light. And my goal there is to, to make it as realistic as possible, where I tried my best. It's half the real and half the it's 
it's broad or should I say hindi siya ganun ka realistic pero I tried I just blended I just turned myself into like a Simpson or something <laughs> kasi I added too much yellow nga it's supposed to be colored colored skin but I was able to blend everything the that the balance of light and dark depending on the reflection of light which is very challenging for me it's because I'm supposed to be blending the dark and light all the time and this is walking to the ring that's from the technique from the color composition through triadic colors it is I decide to paint the girl who's walking to the rain which is it's more on like walking away from the problems that it, that she had in her life i think there are so many problems that she's been dealing with and and she has no other solution for them to solve it so what she does is walking walking away and finding her inner peace by herself and uh, and that piece that she actually deserved. I'm able to balance out different triadic of colors like tonic, accent, and dominant, which made it more appealing to my art artwork. The tonic is the red, which is the which is the skirt, the umbrella, patirima of flowers. The dominant is gray and green. So you can see the grass and the gloomy weather and the accent is more of the white colors and and some of it is from the trees and the rain itself then and the storm and mixed media is vote wisely it's actually a painting that encourages people to vote for the right candidate in order to live in peace and better country so i talk Para nagsisimbolize ito, I just created a Philippine flag out of crap paper and cut off paper na mga stars. It's like, when you vote the right person, the country would be would be better and able to help a lot of people to have a good, good and better life. It's like a sign of peace. Wala siyang corruption, walang, wala mga bad situations na nangyayari sa buong country, drug addicts, criminals, etc. It helps me, it's such a challenge there is to help me to balance off the different kinds of mediums. Instead of just the paint itself, I'm able to experiment with other mediums too. Just to make it more appealing. And the texture would actually pop up and the final paper of this is popping of fakeness that decide i just decide na i paint yung mga popcorns kasi yung mga popcorns i represent them fake news as in it appears everywhere on social media it started to pop up everywhere that it actually overflows as in punong puno talaga na social media na mga fake news na biga na lang na ano, nag nag overspill na yung te techniques din ay nag apply ako ng texture sa paint which is naramdam ko yung warp yung init ng pot pati rin yung init is like yung parang naisip natin yung init ng ulo natin dahil ng galit tayo sa mga mga social media mga na pop up na fake news because every people were like upset talaga it's like they don't even know what's real and what is not anymore. So yung texture that isn't. So that's it. Thank you. Hello? Hi. Um, thank you for that. Um, you also improved. And also your work is in, a, in the middle like um, it's like a mixture of illustrative and realistic, right? And yeah, I also agree with Cesar that walking through the rain, painting it also really good. But like I said, it has, you can um, improve more. 
um, then I hope to see you uh, in another next year <laughs> in another subject. So, uh, but please practice more, all of you. And thank you for today. So, um, give him a round of applause and for everybody as well. You've done a great job. Hooray, guys. <laughs> so, um, I'll be ending this. And also, um, is it all right to post this um, on the group page? Yes. Okay. So, thank you, guys. Best